Music is one of the most effective ways to learn a language. It's easy to implement into your daily routine and has huge benefits for learning grammar, vocabulary and pronunciation. But often we don't pay enough attention, which is called passive listening. And in that case, it doesn't really improve our language level that much. However, when done correctly, it can do wonders to our German skills. And the cherry on top is that it's a ton of fun. So today I'm going to share with you how to study German with music effectively, how to structure this so you get the most out of this exercise. Also, make sure you stick around until the end of this video because I'm going to reveal my secret weapon when it comes to learning German with music. If you are excited to start learning German with fun and ease, then please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you want more videos about this topic. And if you're new here, hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Speak Fluent German. Ich heiße Salome and this channel is all about helping you become a confident German speaker. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? It's totally free and it really helps my channel to grow. I publish a new video every single week. So please subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of my lessons. All right, let's dive in, los geht's. All right, so first of all, we want to find a song, right? Here are some of my favorite artists, which are Vincent Weiss, Andreas Burani, Sido, Clouseau, Max Giesinger, Mark Forster. Or if you want to explore it even more, then you can either use Spotify or YouTube and type in Deutsche Songs. You will find a variety of songs to choose from. Start with listening to the song first and see if you like the music. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pick 99 Luftballons, which is 99 Air Balloons by Nena because it's just a classic. Once you have picked a song, we'll move on to step number two. Once you have picked the song, you actually want to have the lyrics on hand as well, so we can go through it. And for that, you'll need three different colors. One color for new vocabulary. So pick eight to 10 words, not more than that. We don't want to overwhelm ourselves, right? One color for words that you find hard to pronounce. And lastly, one color for chunks. Chunks are basically whole phrases and the reason why chunks are so useful is because you want words to come out together smoothly, right? Instead of each individual word on its own. <laughs> and on top of that, sometimes words mean something completely different when they are put together into a phrase compared to when they stand on their own. Using the chunking method is actually in general a very effective way to learn German. All right, so now we're going to listen to the song and read the lyrics along. Every time you spot a keyword that you don't know, go ahead and highlight it. Don't overdo this part though so you don't get overwhelmed. It's totally fine if you don't understand everything in the beginning. What's important with this exercise is to really focus on the keywords that are going to help us understand the overall context of the song. So let's focus on that and highlight five to eight keywords, not more than that. You can then go ahead and look them up in Lingui. Lingui is an online dictionary. And don't forget to write down the new words so you can revise them again later. Also, if you want more tips on learning vocabulary, definitely check out this video right here where I cover my top three techniques. All right, next is pronunciation. We're going to highlight some words that we find difficult to pronounce and same here, don't pick too many. And then listen to those passages with the difficult words a few times. You can also repeat afterwards or sing along until you feel confident saying those words. Lastly, the chunks. The chunking method is a really efficient way for language learning because we don't learn individual words, but words in context, right? Which is going to help us sound more natural when speaking and also remembering vocabulary more easily. 
So as mentioned before, chunks are basically whole phrases and if you have a hard time figuring out the meaning of those chunks, Deepol is a really great tool to help translate. Don't use Google Translation, it's not very accurate. And same here, write down the chunks so you can revise them later. Now it's time for my favorite part of this whole exercise, which is listening to the song a few more times. You can incorporate that into your daily routine without taking more time of your day. I like to listen to music when I'm going for a walk, working out or taking the bus. Also, if you're now curious to understand the rest of the song and also double check if you have actually got the context right, you can obviously use a lyrics translation website to do so. And as promised, I'll also share with you my secret weapon when it comes to learning German with music, which is an app called Lyrics Training. There is also a desktop version of it in case you prefer to use it on your computer. Essentially, this is a library full of different songs that you can use to study German and practice your listening skills at the same time. So in the mobile version, it looks like this. So this is the Lyrics Training app and here you can basically choose from a variety of German songs and you also see the YouTube video and then if you click on one, let's say I would like to do this one, you can choose a game mode, so either multiple choice or karaoke. I actually find the multiple choice option very good for listening um, training and also practicing new vocabulary. So we'll click that and then you have different kinds of difficulty levels that you can pick from. Um, you can start as a beginner if you are new to this app to just see where you're at and if you find this is too easy you can move on then to intermediate. So you click on start and then the music video is going to pop up and below the music video that you see the entire lyrics and in the lyrics there are some blanks that you need to fill and for the beginner's level you have four multiple choice options at the bottom which you can pick from so you would listen to that part and basically fill in the words as you go. If it's a bit too fast and you can't fill in the correct one or you miss a word you can always slide left to repeat that line or slide right to skip a word. So if you get a word correctly, it's going to show with a green line below it. If you get a word wrong the first time, it's going to blink red. And if you get it wrong the second time, it's going to be highlighted with a red line underneath it. And yeah, that's basically how lyrics training works. I find this app super useful, super fun. And also to learn more about German songs, you have different genres here and um, that you can pick from if you like a specific one or also new lyrics and then also collect awards which is really motivating and pretty fun as well. Yeah, so that's how it all works. Enjoy learning German with music. Back to the video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite German song and artist is. I'd love for you guys to exchange any recommendations. And I'll be back next week with more practical tips on learning German. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the notification bell so you don't miss my weekly lessons. Das ist alles für heute. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!